Hey, Lewis, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Great. So, Lewis, why don't you tell folks a little bit about who you are, first of all, and what you do? Yeah, well, my name is Lewis. I'm here based in Chicago. We have two locations to repair. Uh, we focus on uh, repairing uh, most devices, uh, phones, tablets, computers. Uh, we specialize in micro soldering, so we do uh, have that uh, specialty in, in house. Um, we do work with a lot of businesses around uh, our local area, um, helping them uh, get this repair done for, for their own customers. Nice, and how long have you been doing it? Uh, we, I've been doing it for a little over 10 years, but I opened my shops uh, back in uh, 2012. 2012, okay, yeah. great. So you're pretty experienced and well-known here in your uh, community here in Chicago, yeah? Correct. You say you do some micro soldering. So, what are some of the tricky? That's pretty advanced repair work, you know, in my mind. I mean, they don't do that in, in a lot of shops. So, um, you know, what are the kind of things you see come into your shops that require micro soldering? Uh, well, more so, uh, uh, basic stuff would be like, uh, let's say, uh, console 6 DMI uh, replacements, which uh, they're more bigger parts. And we do have uh, more. Uh, smaller parts with like the uh, iPhones let's say with the charging I say chips or with uh, problems especially nowadays with the uh, layer boards on the uh, X series uh, that you know uh, with impacts those uh, soldering pots they, they normally they break so that's one of the things that we're seeing more commonly uh, in our shops uh, so nice and I mean you know you're a small business how many people yes. do uh, work in your shops uh, currently we are four we have four employees four employees yes. okay so but you know those are good jobs for uh, folks that, that love to tinker with devices I assume which I know a lot of people in this industry enjoy doing so so let me ask you kind of a, a, a tough question but and that is you know if you, if you were able to tell Apple and tell the OEMs one thing you know about our industry about what you do specifically I mean what would that be uh, well, um, I will say we are here to help. We are here to help the people. We are here to to uh, uh, make it easier for the people out there to repair your stuff. You know, not to complicate it like uh, these big companies are doing. And you know, we are fixing things that these companies are not doing. So why not give us the chance? Give us the opportunity to help them and help the people that need this type of repairs that they're not providing themselves you know to do it so, right right yeah. and I mean when it when it all comes down to it it's about convenience I convenience. imagine most of your customers you know live and work uh, around your shops and they want a convenient place that they can trust Correct. to come into and and would you say that's what you guys are yes exactly yeah yeah well, most definitely I mean there's there's people I mean there's not every you know there's not an Apple store on every corner right or you know every you know few blocks so we are really convenient to the people you know it's the, most of the times you get the, the repair done the same day yeah. so you don't have to be making appointments you don't have to be waiting for days sometimes weeks or maybe months to get uh, your device back in your hand so we're very convenient to, to, to a lot of people that's awesome that's awesome yes. well as we wrap up just tell everybody again your name the name of your shop and your uh, website yes uh, so my, my name is Louis uh, my shops are uh, Simple Fix and my website is uh, Simple uh, Fix Dot Repair Dot Repair nice I love it thanks for your time Louis have a uh, great uh, time uh, heading home which you don't have to go far yes <laughs> alright thanks thank you so much